Have you ever wanted to be a tightrope walker? Let me tell you, it requires a lot of skill. You have to watch your step, son. And even if you do, you should probably have an advisor. <laughs> there are a lot of things that can go wrong. You have to know to stop at the right moment, and you have to pay a lot to get all the equipment you need. Without going into the details, I can tell you that you make a fool out of yourself. If you fall off when you're that high above the ground, you don't want to have any close calls, all right? For example, if you had an ear of corn, the birds would have to be fed, or a bird will just steal it right out of your hand, and you can say, buy corn. As hot as you try, corn is just not an optimal thing to have up there. Let me tell you how to get ahead of the competition. If you get good without me, I'll say, well, hell met when I see you in a neighborhood tightrope competition. But you know what? I could still beat you in a dunce battle. I will not capitulate. One time, I was faced by a black bear, or maybe a brown bear. Anyway, some bear opened a dance competition with me. And you know what? When I beat him, without breaking a sweat, banned me from competition. And it's not just bears. Like, deers talk about a sore loser. They were brimming with anger as soon as I beat them. I was just that good. It seems like animals' first instinct when something beats them is to just bon it from competition ever again. Like, a bee need not worry about ever seeing them again. Bear? Eh, no problem. Fez will beat them. Me. I don't just take on animals, though. I also do inanimate objects, like a bull learned how to beat those in a day. Motor? Banned from competition. Truck? Er, that's a little bit more difficult, but you know those F-150s, they're in a class apart, even from some of the best dancers in the world. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you on Friday! Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. <laughs>